stroke out. <laughs> Fanatic Infamous Game 2 is here. And I wouldn't blame you if you needed a cool, refreshing shower or to take a breath of fresh air because that was an absolute roller coaster, whirlwind cluster of a game. And in the end, Infamous emerged victorious. Fnatic are now 0-7, Lumi. Infamous, a solid three wins to their name and very much still in the running to move out of these groups and maybe even a shot to sneak into the upper bracket. I think Infamous has pretty much guaranteed themselves to at least to be at the lower bracket of the main event. And like you said, they are trying to make a run for that, you know, top four. This group that they're in is very stacked, though. You got some very good teams occupy the top four. Uh, if I may, I'll quickly go over them real fast. We got Team Liquid sitting at 7 on 1, LGD at 6 and 2, EG at 5 and 3, and TNC, the, the team that you could ideally catch up to, is currently at 4 and 2. Um, but, you know, they still got Team Secret ahead of them. They still got IG Vitaly ahead of them. West Fnatic's all about just, like, not finishing dead last right now. Yeah, Fnatic is definitely on the hot path to uh, MUFC status. I Damn, mean, man. Except, except getting bounced before the event actually begins. So. <laughs> that's pain painful, perhaps even worse. Painful fate to try and be avoided here. So let's turn our attention to the draft now as the picks have begun. Fnatic are going to change it up in a big way. The bands are the same, but the first pick is an Io, and then they go back for the Bristle. So Take me back. The old 2014 MVP Phoenix. Back let's when nobody go. else was doing it, these yeah. guys were. So I, 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 that's the Fabi QO, you know? That's it. Go next. Sand King Puck, meanwhile, for Infamous, so just strong AoE, lots of control. Uh, pretty good at dealing with the IO, I would say. Maybe not so hot at dealing with the the Bristle, though. And so, presumably you're gonna ban this, like, the Sven here. That's been the premier anti-Bristle hero. I guess if... There's probably a few others that are decent, but that's the big one that comes to mind. I wonder if you ban the Lich as well, uh, if you're a fanatic, because that's one of the, the heroes that I think that does pretty decently against the Bristleback. You get the early point in Frost Armor, and it really takes a lot out of the Bristle Harass. Also, you know, Fnatic never drafts actually any tower pushing, so the, any points of Frost Armor on your building just makes it super hard for any kind of siege coming out from Fnatic. But instead, they'll take out the Batrider that Queen Tekka played, uh, an amazing one in the last game. Yeah, the Batrider was probably the biggest standout outside of Tomato's early game, but, you know, King Tekka was a lot more consistent down the stretch. So, big credit to him for clutching it out. LD, do you know what the translation is? Uh, like, smash as my pastor? What does that actually mean? He's my shepherd. Okay. I think it's from the... It's like the the Lord is my shepherd, except the Smash is my oh, shepherd type okay, thing. Okay, okay, okay. I believe so. That is. So then you don't have to be like Smash, right? You could be like Tomato as my pastor, right? Tomato a mi mi pastor. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. I am not the uh, Spanish expert here. I'm, but I'm sure Twitch chat will. I don't think it's. I don't think he's built the following that Smash has yet. Okay. Got to win a few, a few more. Well, is, well, is Smash at this TI? That's what I thought. So, yeah, I don't. Sadly, I don't think we'll ever see Smash at a, a Valve event. But yes. um, Disruptor gets picked up here, so definitely a, a very good anti-IO hero. They've now got three, I would say, that are quite good at killing that a little obnoxious ball of light. Still nothing to deal with the bristle, though. Oh, I I think this is a bad pick by by uh. By like, on, yeah, on paper, Disruptor is good. You know, relocate comes in, you glimpse them out, or you got the Static Storm on top. But what does Disruptor? do for you when they run at you like I, when Fnatic play IO they don't go for the relocate game plan it's just kind of the fact that IO gives you the regen and run at them and Disruptor is one of the worst heroes being ran at that is certainly true so I don't know maybe we see them try to mix up the lanes here he like dual lanes mid or something unusual yeah. but not like Puck normally would need the help assuming it is the Puck mid uh, maybe Puck off lane with this razor grab we'll have to see but uh Queen of Pain, the reply from Fnatic. So I imagine, is that the QO hero? I think QO might be on Bristleback. Yeah. And then you put Bristle feels like more of a Q hero. QO on, hero. On Queen? Five 
I'm curious of what uh, Ohio's going to be playing. He, he's really playing a lot of those kind of tanky sustain heroes for the team. So he played a Venom last game, uh, I mean, got a pipe. He could play the Bristle if they wanted to. Sure. Uh, um, but he he's could play more, the Knicks. He, he's more online with things like Pit Lord lately or Necrofalse. Now, I'm not sure what you want either of those heroes in, in this draft. Oh God, but Please don't pick Pit Lord. Your Pit Lord is lit. Did you see MDL? Pit Lord was hot garbage. Every every Pit Lord game was an instant loss. Yeah, but Ohio wasn't in MDL. Yeah, he didn't he didn't earn his way to MDL. You're right. <laughs> they didn't qualify. Maybe they picked too much Pit Lord. Maybe. No, I'm, I I haven't actually seen a t uh, enough Pit Lord to really say he's a bad hero. The, but I, the C, I have not been impressed in the limited sample size I have witnessed. The C representative at MDL was Clutch Gamer, I believe. Yeah, they they won every qualifier except for. Uh, you know, the one that is for all the marbles, sad to say, but yeah. we'll see if they stick together. But for now, focused on Fnatic, fifth pick to round it out. They're looking, I, I guess it depends, in theory, could be a core Nyx and they want another, another support, or maybe it is a Nyx support and looking for another core. Probably another fight starter, I would say, is ideal. Well, Febby always plays the IR, right? And do you want DJ to play a five Nyx? That might be a little bit hard. So maybe you're right, they do put Ohio on the Knicks and, and just pick like a, a Witch Doctor-esque hero. Monkey King, all right. Everyone was talking Monkey King up, you know. I know what you, were, position? you were expecting yeah. him to be the new hero of the tournament, but it's been Lich stealing all the, the thunder so far. What position do you think it'll be? Three? Mm, I think it's an offlane Knicks. Offlane Knicks. It's like roaming Monkey King. Five Monkey King, okay. Yeah. I feel like the IO Monkey King are kind of like four and a halfs, you know, in the way you'll play it. If you're on a tree and then IO tethers to you. And breaks the tree. That breaks the tree and then he just falls down. Does it break the tree you're on if you tether to it? If you tether from really far away, it should, I believe. I'm not actually sure. Yeah. That sounds like that some awful Awful combo, yeah. What is, what is the opposite of synergy? A nombo is what I call it. Nombo. Instead of a combo. A nombo. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I like that. I really like the Razor pick. Uh, one of the best hero being ran at because even if you're being ran at, you just let off that static link and you make them choose. You know, do you want to keep coming at me? They're going for the Lightning Lord strat. Where's the Zeus? Get him in there. Zeus would be hard, hot garbage in this pick. Ah, oh, this is great. Another good kind of getting ran at hero or running hero. Q a Monkey King, my body is ready. Is it? We are in. All right. All right. So this I, is fresh. So what? How do you play this? What's, okay. What's so the QO way. Well, not the QO. I've never seen QO play Monkey King, but I've heard rumors of players like practicing mid Monkey, and he's very, very good taking care of some of the more problematic matchup. Even as a melee hero, um, you could bully pretty hard. Looks like he's gonna be laying up against Tomato. And even though Puck is the range hero, I think Kyo should have the advantage. You walk in and you just layer him a couple of times with Jingu Mastery, and then Tomato has has to always be somewhat careful about a rotation coming in and then a balance strike, and you could just be straight up dead. Also, Monkey King uh, moving into the game, mid game, one of the most uh, kind of item versatile hero. He, he pretty much could pick up anything, um, but I'm expecting some sort of early game fighting kind of item like drums into uh, Maelstrom, that kind of stuff. But we'll see. Uh, QO definitely always has fairly unique spin when it comes to item choices on heroes. There's really nowhere to go but up, I want to say, from last That's game. That's definitely you know? true. That's definitely true. I feel like I'm fishing with these silver linings, Lumi. I'm not going to lie. But <laughs> You have no you have uh, no confidence in the QO Monkey King? Monkey King mid. Never thought I'd see the day. You know, when Boboko was playing Monkey King back you know, DAC and just crushing everyone. Mm. Did you ever think that Monkey Kane would just disappear from the meta and then come back and reemerge as a new challenger for the mid role? Man, all of these years in Dota 2 has always taught me that nothing is certain. Ice Rock, Tick, and Ice, Ice Rock gives. He giveth and taketh. Yeah. I mean, I'm also a Cloud9 fan, so I, I definitely know nothing is certain. I heard they won a game. Yeah. I have to check the replay to see whether it was a dream or not, but... Apparently, there were, there were some tweets. 
Words were spoken by old man Fear. Okay. What did he say? Um, he said, why is the Lich building a Shadow Blade and the Drow a Force Staff? Because apparently Pylai died built a uh, Shadow Blade. Oh yeah, he, he's been on this phase Shadow Blade Lich build. Just for the deeps? For the warding? For the dank memes. Just for the memes. Like, a whole, bu a whole bunch of us casters were sitting at a table trying to figure it out. <laughs> like, what is the logic behind that? I was like, is it a Silver Edge upgrade? As Phallic's things are being drawn right now on the minimap. Alright, so it is a mid Monkey King. It's a safe lane bristle. It looks like Febby's probably going to dual lane mid. Okay. Maybe help out top a little bit. Ajit on the Quap off lane. DJ playing the five position Nyx. Four and a half position Nyx, I would probably say. And then we see Febby going for the bottle first. There's been kind of a, a lot of talk about whether you do go bottle first anymore on Isle because the bottle has been nerfed. Um, most people actually opt for stat items, like things like getting an early urn or early magic stick, but you're playing a mid aisle. This is one of the few cases that you still definitely do want to get the bottle. QL, let's start things off here with the Jinku Mastery. Is the is the build any different for like a mid monkey king? What do you expect as far as skills and items go? Probably a 2-1-2 two, two in this case. Normally you, you put more points into Jingu Mastery if you expect to get more right clicks in, but given the fact that he's up against a range hero, you won't. I guess he does have the IO, so he's got the move speed. Maybe that somewhat changes the equation, but yeah, maybe in this lane he's probably not going to get as many. The weird thing is that like, Kyo can't really take advantage of the mana that you get from IO, right? Like what are you going to spam? Like. Primal Spring. It's, there's all of his spells are on such high cooldown that you you can't actually spam too much. So I don't know if Febby is actually doing that much here. It feels like I mean maybe it just helps keep QO alive just for the HP. Sure. But, yeah, the mana part of it not optimal perhaps as DJ goes in here on the top lane committing on a cell going to force him back. Unable to quite find the kill. Tomato meanwhile got a little help from his friends and they're engaging. Matthew drives in but. Has to worry about this Jinku mastery. Kyo continues to lay in with those auto attacks. Still though, 2v2, are you liking the strength of this lane right now, Lumi? For Fnatic, definitely not. There's like no kill potential. I think Febby just taking away the experience. Uh, he's also not stacking. Looks like he's gonna try for this ancient stack. Would he be more helpful bottom or top? I think he's definitely more helpful bottom. Uh, Maybe he just want to avoid where Matthew was. Matthew started bottom, I believe. Yeah, Undying definitely makes Io's life very miserable. Yeah. They could try and set up here on Queen Tekka. They'll stack up a little bit from Ohio. They're going to tether Febby in. So they do make that rotation that you mentioned. Leaving QO on an island in the mid lane. Gets the two points in Jingu Mastery. Skills up the Boundless Strike. Nothing too unusual yet. Yep. See, when, if ever those changes come. Uh, the Monkey King really takes off in the mid lane when you do have to face boots. Generally on the other side, face like you don't upgrade your boots so much later, you, you go for things like bottles and whatnot. So then you get the movement speed advantage and you could just rush in and start stacking that Jingu, applying pressure that way. I do wonder if QO gets to skip the bottle because he has an IO. I imagine that's gonna be the case. They see us seeing pretty well here mid, and good news, so, you know, Tomato, who completely crushed him earlier, not happening, yep. with the help of the IO. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Ohio's doing pretty well as far as zoning goes, the Sand King is CSing better, also, granted, getting a bit of help. As he rings around the trees, oh, they whip the bro. oh, this could be real bad for Infamous. Quill stacking up, still has the stick charges, but with that decay coming through, Quill's a plenty. Matthew, two more sets of Quills he's done for, first blood will be claimed by Ohio. And might even get a double for his trouble, though he is very Ooh. low on HP. Yeah, Got a salve now. He's gonna pop. Probably not happening. See, ya. I think I, I mean the salve would have got canceled, but he wouldn't have died. I think so. Yeah. He already had eaten the tango, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if it's worth it to. I guess someone, no one was even there to take over the lanes. But. In any case, down he goes. Still gets the first blood. Still very happy with the exchange. Matthew's gonna come back mid instead. Matthew should be very careful the way that he plays mid. It's good that he's harassing, but he shouldn't harass from melee range. Don't allow Kyo to build Jingu off of you, because 
uh, earlier just now he had a full jingle active and suddenly Tomato had to play so defensive because he has to worry about you know two hits into balance strike and he'll be dead so far 202 build coming out from Kyo I, I do apologize if I'm focusing a little bit too much from on, on the Monkey King but this is don't apologize to these savages in chat. Okay, well, I'm not going to apologize. I want to look at Monkey <laughs> Kings. It's not something that we see too often, so I want to definitely learn a lot from this game. I, I, I think that's definitely the highlight of the game, you know? How is he going to... For me, it's like not just the build. It's also like, what is the... Where are they going to like... He looks, he's the Monkey King. He's got the phase boots now. When does he start to rotate? Does he get really aggressive early? Like, that is the QOA. way. Right. Know, back when he used to play like the Phantom Assassin mid. The PL, it was all about that, like, probably 6 to 12 minute period where he'd really get aggressive. He's going in right now, got the face boot, balance strike gonna come out, Tomato's gonna go away. And that is the power of this face boot pickup and the tether movement speed. Tomato has to just reserve his orb, not to farm, not to harass, but simply to escape. Um, Razor will be interrupted here. Now they can make a move in. Ah, uh, Jet gets that nuke off. He does have the double point so far in the Shadow Strike. Not enough to kill him. Ben Hunt's going to re-engage. He gets DJ oh, with double. a double plasma field. Oh, that's a big blunder by Fnatic. They even brought in the IO towards top to try and salvage that, turn the fight. Not going to happen, though. I mean, they have full vision of Matthew coming behind them. They just did not respect the fact that the Soul Rip turned the amount of HP so very quickly. Kyo looks like he's got the Junku active. And then Puck just can't even come close. And he's actually going to make a move on the Puck here. But Matthew's in position to try and usher him away. Nobody wants to fight this Monkey King yeah, in the river can't. with the phase boots active already. He's going to walk in. Start oh, that, to that could be a kill. Tomato. Balance strike. He's got the balance strike. And he will get that one auto attack off crit. And oh, the range. What is the range? range, QO. Now pounces away to the tree. Up and away to safety. Drops back down. Wants to help his friend Febby. Won't quite be able to do that. So it's a massive four. Three, four hero rotation to try and support and salvage that engagement. But Lumi, if you if Fnatic needed one thing, ideally you said it would be QO having a good start mid, and he is getting that. So if there's any reason for hope for this team, this would be it. Yep. They also want Ohio to be doing pretty well, and he remember he did get the first blood. So this is definitely the Fnatic game plan being executed. Aj is slowing down, but. Playing on this team, Ajit is used to kind of giving farm to, to away to the other cores, despite him being supposedly the position one player. So, yeah, things are looking well for Fnatic. They make a move here on Ohio in the bottom lane. Epicenter ripped up, turns his back, won't make it out. Matthew coming in again, and they <laughs> are shutting this bristle back. Are you watching this mid lane? Kyo jumped on the tree, Fabi tethered to him, the tree broke. <laughs> he just, uh, he, so he does get stunned. Yeah, right he does now. get stunned. That's awesome. I was I was watching the action. But the, the real action is wherever the monkey came in. Shame on me. That's for me. Coil happening, Bebby. Gotta be careful. Eats an orb. Ooh, phase away. Uh, two coils down, not a whole lot of success as DJ closes in, has the stun, needs to find the angle. Maybe they just chase chase down One SL. One more nice. poke! of that staff and the kill is secure now the carapace coming out tomato tries to jump away look at the damage on qo up to plus 174 just the gift that keeps on giving got the balance strike he's got the jingu buff still where is he jumping to my friend oh, he's gonna go for dying instead of all the heroes yep that's the one he chooses he wants this one now he might actually die has qo gotten too cocky here magic wand magic wand and then the tether in. Now the chase is on. Shades of the old MVP. Could they get them a day? One more hit. Now they've got the power. <laughs> they've got the kill. They might even get the puck as well. They will. DJ comes in. And they will get more. Diving for a cell. Steamrolling through Infamous. Bam! He goes right down with the boundless strike. Fnatic, finally, finally, this team has a sign of life. Give them a pulse. Yeah. Like showing up, you know, maybe... 36 hour late to Seattle, but showed up. That's all that matters. Now I'm very curious what he's gonna go from this point. It feels like drums will really help the playstyle that he's going for. He's gonna coil here. 
Down the strike coming out. QO, Jukin, jiving as best he can. Gets the silence, gets up to the high ground. In comes DJ. He stands his ground. They're committing so much to kill him off. And now He's he dead. keeps on stacking up the Jingo. He keeps on doing more damage. Oh, oh can't quite finish the job. Yeah. I am surprised that he doesn't have any point of Wukong's command. Yeah, that's interesting that he yeah. hasn't even bothered to skill it. Maybe he, he feels like, you know, it has such a long rev up cast time that it's very easy for Puck to just wane and riff. Or, you know. I guess in these smaller skirmishes also, it's unlikely to be as useful as it will be later in the game when, you know, the bristle's there and he can kind of join the fight later. Yeah. Wukong Command to me is actually a very decent spell to, to fight the, the Tombstone, right? You, you see the Tombstone drop down, you just drop the Wukong Command on top of that and you keep right clicking into it. And you have the Bristle back, that's also very decent for that. Yeah, they're actually not too bad at dealing with it. They also have the Quap who can just poke. Yeah. From a decent distance. Top lane here, we got Ajit going right into Excel. No Sonic Wave? No, yeah, he does have it. Excuse Times me. Times it just right. Meanwhile, though, that Io got brought down. Simultaneously infamous, finally a coil success. Still a relatively even game, as crazy as it's been for the mid lane. 15 kills in 10 minutes. But here's the thing, Queen Tekka finishes the Blink Dagger 10 minutes in. He even has a Ring of Health, like, you know, didn't rush for it straight up. On the mid lane here, QO forces an invis out of Tomato. Taking a little bit of pressure here from the decay. I mean, honestly, Ice just fixated on this mid lane because that's where everyone keeps on going. You see about seven heroes on the map right now, just all swarming towards here. But the boundless strike comes out. It's a pretty beautiful one as well. Catches out too. The follow up's there from DJ. Now the Io comes in. Tomato's almost dead. DJ's on the chase. He's going to commit heavily for this from the side. Comes Ohio sweeping in from behind. The tether keeps QO healthy. Take it through the epicenter. Ohio maybe not so lucky though. He's going to need some help from a friend. And Ben Haas comes from straight onwards. Turns back around. Deals with the bristleback. Kills off the porcupine mutant that he is. And now chases for DJ. Orb comes through. Tomato connects. Make it three for Infamous. Kyo sees Excel. I think he's thinking whether he can solo kill him or not. Pe the rest of the team is striding away. He just needs Excel to run down the river a little bit. Go for that range creep. Oh. 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 <laughs> Hello. How you doing? And there you go. See ya. What a patience, Hunter. That really was. That was. I was like watching one of those nature documentaries. <laughs> you, just, you see the cheetah stalking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the antelope or whatever. What does monkeys hunt in the wild? Um, are they like a? Are they a carnivore? Or? I mean, there's all different kinds of monkeys. Some of them eat insects. Some of them actually, you know, eat plant life. Okay. A uh, monkey is uh, on the hunt for raptors and zombies. Raptors and zombies. Those don't. Sound oh, very tomatoes! Surprising. Trapped. This he is hunting for fruit good. right now. The diced tomato just goes down. He wants a little bit more. Matthew has no escape. Debbie though is able to keep QO going, churning his way through. Oh, back and forth. Yep. Just juking all around, and now he does have the Wukong's command available. Matthew's likely to go down. He does get off the volley of nukes, though. There is no IO helping QO out. He hesitates. The command deployed, and now tries to fight within as best he can. Acel is there from the side. The burrow connects and almost down the boundless strike. He stays alive. Ajit with the save. Three down. The tower about to fall as well. Oh, this monkey cane has been something majestic so far to behold. DJ. Lumi, five, zero, and six. Oh, the relocate coming from Febby, giving some mana and HP. They have to just juke they and wanted. jive a little bit more. Meanwhile, he wants the balls on his face. Matthew on the juke. He's dancing out. He's fine. Febby, if he dies here, he doesn't. That was their ticket home. Ticket handed to the conductor right as the train is leaving the station. Choo-choo. All right, Deso is now complete. It is a 13-minute desolator for QO. Fools are gonna get trucked. Yep. I, I think during that team fight, what uh, Infamous perhaps forgotten about is the change to the uh, Wukong command. It gives you plus a bonus armor at level one, and that made all the difference there in that engagement. Big jump in from QO. Very committed dive forward. Benhaz gets involved, and now 
Going for the glimpse back, they want to lock him down, but the save is there from Febby with the tether. No relocate, but doesn't need it. Pounding through that razor. Will, however, lose his little ball of light. Down goes the IO. Still Fnatic confident to stand their ground. They could even go in deeper, and that's exactly what they're going to do. DJ sweeps it from the side, finds the side pickoff. Disruptor down, and Fnatic gaining steam. The Deso coming very soon. That's the one extra hammer, and then he's good to go. One thing that Infamous is doing very well is that they are taking all the damage that Monkey King is dishing out, but they're rushing forward to make sure they kill the IO. Epicenter being channeled up, Quinteca goes straight right in for the Quab, and they got the Static Storm on top as well. Quab will die, but here comes QO. QO getting all kinds of free reign, and oh, by the way, there is a Bristleback in this game, but with the Razor Lee Charles damage getting in front of him, that is not the fight that a Bristleback wants to take. Down he goes, QO bounding away into the trees, but they're gonna get the vision on him now with the Plasma Field coming out. Silence as well. Can they focus down this damn monkey? Defensive. No. The, nice. The save by Febby. He will be coming back. They might have to lose their IO. DJ wants to help this. Uh, QO looks like he's gonna just give up IO's life. Oh, they're not even chasing. Okay. Surprisingly, they don't stick around. Maybe worried about a buyback. Pop was gonna respawn. Deso, Deso coming, Lumi. Only 800 gold. Pretty damn fast timing. Yep. Also, Bristleback picking up Pipe. I don't know whether he had it for that fight. I don't think he did. But for these upcoming fights, it's going to make Io in particular that much tankier. Uh, they've been trying to nuke him down with things like Plasma Feel, uh, Orb, and things like that. That definitely helps. I do apologize if I, I make this cast a little bit too fanatic centric again. They, they got the new shining hero, so I'm <laughs> focusing more on that. But let's talk about what Infamous should be doing. I, I already mentioned that they're doing an excellent job at killing Io repeatedly at the beginning of these fights. And also, um, I, I did say that Disruptor isn't the best hero against run at you strategy, but it, the glimpse on the Monkey King repeatedly seems to be fairly effective uh, in, in terms of pushing him away from the fight. And LD, if you want to click on his uh, inventory real fast, I, I do appreciate that uh, SL has queued up the right items. Yes. Yeah, vision for days. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually really He's like, sad. Yeah, I know I'm gonna feed, so yeah. let me just let me prepare for that inevitable fate. We do have that level four glimpse ready though, so I need to respect the pickoff potential. Of course, relocate a great potential solution to those situations as DJ roams around under cover of Vendetta. Do it for the stair commit. They're going to try, but Ohio's out in front. Hero not quite there yet. He really wants this Deso. He's like 100 gold short. I think he's going to just go try and finish it in the jungle and then join the team. So a big boost of damage is about to be shot into the arm of Fnatic. Combine that with the quills as well. The minus armor will have extra benefits. They see Quinteca. Up on the high ground, he lurks. Look for the jump momentarily. Ohio comes in, has the quills ready to go. Meanwhile, Sand King jumping through, but the Wukong's command gets deployed with the Desolator. They absolutely explode. And then Ajit coming through as well, chasing for more with the Quab oh. committed. Boundless Strike on two, jams at home, four fall, infamous in utter disarray. Oh, that damage spike. Yeah, man. My god, those statues. I, I wonder if they did not uh, expect a QL to finish it in time, and he's like... I think the other thing that just uh, shook them pretty hard was the fact that the pipe activation. All these fights that are winning right now is thanks to Sankey and Epicenter going in, but the pipe just cancels that. And with the help of uh, the overcharge, the pipe, they just run them down. QO going into the pit. This is the Fnatic gameplay that won them this C representative spot. And they are deploying it here so far in Seattle. Well, I, w I would... So far is a strong turn of phrase. Okay. But maybe finally, finally, <laughs> sure, sure. At long last, after after 36 hours of pain and suffering, for all the Fnatic fans out there, all the lovers of Korean Dota have something to cheer about. But it's not over yet. Infamous have shown that they're a scrappy bunch. As Ajit jumps in, gets off the silence on Tamada, forcing him away. 
Probably feels good to put Tomato in his place after what he did to them last game. And DJ hunts deeper. He might even get this Courier. Just an easy Vendetta auto attack, but could also cost him his life. He's going to patiently wait for the return and then the punish as simultaneously Fnatic are looking for the push down the top lane. He does end up killing off the Courier. Balance strike? I'm going to take him low, but he is fine. They're high ground here. They're trying to force it. Wasting no time, but they get caught in the Static Storm. Two are there. The Coil came through as well. Still a relocate ready. And Fnatic hold on. The Zombie Apocalypse forces them on their heels. Queen Tekka on the chase. The two hero pearl. Still has the Epi, but has to find a good time to use it. The Decays are stacking up. Now down goes the Bristle. DJ swarmed and he's finished off. Bebby still can't find a good relocate target. A two for two. Fnatic breaking even, which is a bit of a loss for them against Infamous, but they still hold that Aegis, and they did take a nice objective. I mean, if Kyo doesn't die, I think it's all okay here. I wonder what what he's going next. I always feel like Echo Saber is such an interesting item for, especially when you're interested in building Jingu Just mastery. to build up the Jingu, yeah. yeah. But I, I guess true. he has no problem getting attacks in. Uh, Especially with Febby giving him the boost of MS. I mean, it's a really good BKB game. Oh yeah, he actually already has it queued up. Yeah. Like, just looking at the Sand Cane, the Puck, the Disruptor, so much control to prevent him from actually hitting in fights. But with the BKB, there's not much, yep. really, to deal with him. So, I definitely cannot argue with the BKB, and it fits QO's playstyle as much as anything else. I wonder if he's gonna take the health talent. Uh, 275 of 15, pretty respectable. That's likely going to be his choice. But we'll see. But why not more damage? <laughs> but why not? At that point, he's hitting harder than like a very high level Earthshaker with an enchant totem per hit. Yeah. Scary stuff. Fnatic swarming from objective to objective and now looking to breach the base. They waste no time. That is the beauty of casting this team, is you know they are going to try and take fights after fights. No, there's no sitting behind farming for, you know, waiting for the third Roche or anything like that. QO leaping in deeper, but they know he's there. He's going to jump back just a little bit, hop, skip, retreat out. They'll leave QO to focus on the tower, but they really do want to get that Deso buff. And now deploying the Wukong's command, zoning. they focus on objectives. It is purely zoning for now, keeping Infamous back. They do not want that Desolator statue smacking them. Blacking them and punishing them, but Kyo now having his damage stolen. The IO sits back, tethers onto Ohio. That means Kyo has to retreat more or less. They will lose the IO, no relocate. Now Ohio's in danger. He may go down on the high ground. He falls. There is a buyback available, but Fnatic must retreat quick, fast, in a hurry. Kyo made it out. Not so lucky though. As DJ Kyo comes back in, re engaging, trying to man fight it up. He loses the A. Just do they buy back? They could bring in the IO plus one if they really want to commit. Maybe it's just the IO trying to save the day. QO standing at his ground. The epicenter ripped up. Febby rejoins. Ajit surges in. Infamous have blown their payload. All of those big ultimates. Febby, though, might end up dying back here. One second. Doesn't take anyone with him. Probably not worth it, but at least they don't lose more. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I like the way that Fnatic took their fight. Uh, just walking up there and deploying the Wukong command because... It's so easy for them to force you out of the Wukong command. All they have to do is send the Razor forward and get a link on QO. They still don't have a good reply to that. And as a result, they had to just run away from their own Wukong command. And then, of course, Ohio just got left behind by a good kinetic field. Oh, he's changed his mind. Now S and Y. Choice. Okay. I think Lincoln Sphere also deserves a, a fairly interesting discussion in the sense that it blocks either a Burrow Strike or a Static Link, two, two spells you really care about. At the same time, there are things like Soul Rip or, or Thunder Strike that triggers it. You don't. I mean, Tanker gets caught out here, but a nice Soul Rip by Matthew keeps him up. Though, as you mentioned, the Bristle pretty good at dealing with that Tomb. He is going to commit for it. it. Seems like they want to punish him, but... <coughs> Not sure they can in the end. Nice. Now the smoke and Fnatic immediately wrapping around and looking to force the tempo to the hot top lane they shall go. Striking down the wave and now onto the tower. Ohio out in front once again. The epicenter ready soon. The coil available as is the static storm. So the full complement of ultimates are online. But this tower is dropping quickly. For the time being, QO heading onto the Wukong's command. He thinks about using it. Actually, had 
the cast animation ripped up, and now he lets it go. That that sea of statues flying out forces them on their heels, and this time with the whole squad already hitting the tower, they cleanly take it down. Now they can turn Epicenter. for the racks. Epicenter coming in. It's a good one. On two is the relocate save coming in time. Feppy not opting to use it. He just goes for the tether, and it was the right call. They run through. Infamous pounding them into submission, and now Fnatic. A lane of racks is theirs for the taking. The mid monkey king prevails here. Yeah. And they can move on for a second lane. A very interesting like play and counterplay between the monkey king and the razor. It turns out that when you go in with a stack lane on QO, QO just puts out his Wukong command. Sure, he's got like minus 200 damage, but his statues don't care. They still output that Deso damage, like you're pointing out. And that's what ultimately won them to fight, force infamous back. Sonic Wave was great, and more importantly, Febby's decision to just stay their ground, not relocate out, and just give him the overcharge debuff, or rather buff, and uh, they're able to win those fights. Oh, that is absolutely massive for Fnatic. Now, the items pouring in, a Blink Dagger for the Nyx Assassin, a BKB for the Queen of Pain, the completed Sanjin Yasha, and 2k gold for the Monkey King. Perhaps, most importantly, a Crimson Guard for Ohio, along with the Aghanim Scepter, nearly complete. Fnatic firmly in control now, looking to close this out, grab their first win of the International 2017. Well, not a full win on a series, but a game win, they'll take it. And they are damn close. This is the first time in a while I've seen Bristleback eggs. Because generally, you're more worried about like dealing damage, like picking up solar quests, or just tanking up straight up. But he understands that he's not the true damage dealer in, in this game. All he has to do is sit in the front line, relocate up top. They're going to go for the co-op. Well, not co-op. Uh, to motto, but they miss pretty much every one of their spells. Q out just pouncing here, pouncing there, jumping everywhere. Decides not to continue pursuit. Looks like the mid tower is the goal. Yep. That's where they'll focus their attentions. DJ is going to hoof it back to rejoin the team. Actually granting himself a uh, personal smoke to get him there quicker. Now Fnatic, ready to go for this last lane. Can Infamous pull out a Miracle? Down 18k gold. Also needing the win, not desperately I would say, but certainly would prefer not to drop another game. They'll try to hang on. The BKB deployed by Ajit. Epicenter committed everything for Febby. They hate that little ball and they will kill him off, but now the Wukong's command comes out. The rest of the team stands within, protected. Emboldened by it, they'll deal with the creep wave. Infamous does a nice job of splitting here, at least for now, but then they get con cornered as Matthew suddenly finds himself being smacked from one direction, whacked from the other. Ohio ganging up on him, and together they will slay the beast. The GG is called. At long last, the boys from C put a notch on their belt. Fnatic have their first win. Well, it's always going to start somewhere. Uh. And Fnatic, like we mentioned multiple times, they face a lot of their kind of tough, tough opponents yesterday. And they could actually begin their climb back here. End game score, we got uh, a 8 -0 on your Monkey King. They had 31 kills. He was involved in 28 of them. Yep. Ajit also bringing it up here with 12, 2, and 6. That was a vintage QO performance, but you really do have to credit Febby because... None of that happened. That, that was so Febby. not an IO yeah. enabling that QO. Febby is came. to me the MVP in, in the, that game. Well, at long last, Infamous, they drop one, but still in the running here in the group, I think, for sure. And 